Hey, my village. I'm just sharing the video out and tagging a few friends. Say hi, hello. Hi, thank you for tuning in. I'm just sharing this out to a few people and tagging a few people to join. Hope you enjoyed your day today. Today was such an amazing day for me. Um, Y'all understand how amazing of a day it was. I was really vibing mostly the whole day off of great, amazing energies with a lot of different uh, amazing entrepreneurs. Tuesdays are my my entrepreneur day. Hey, sis. Hey. Hey, Kai. Nice to see you on here. Is this the first live that you catch me on? <clears throat> Thank you. Um, comment, you guys say hi, wave so that I can know who's here. I can see that how many people are here, but I don't know who it is until you guys actually comment or wave or do emoji or anything like that. Um, today's topic, as you can see, is state of mind. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you for tuning in. So the um, state of mind, I mentioned this because of the fact that a lot of people are stuck in life because of their mindset. So with me, uh, let me introduce myself first off. I am Monique. I am a family and parenting life coach. So my thing is to help parents co-parent with success to be able to coexist in their child's life. So that's pretty much what I help them do. And one part of my program and my service, I always start off with a mindset training. And in this mindset training, um, I help parents be able to get rid of that fantasy that they have of the type of parent that they wish they were um, or dreamed of having a child with, even though it's not their reality. Um, because a lot of times they can't co-parent because that person don't live up to that fictional person that they have or what they see on TV and who they imagine having a kid with. Hey, Belinda. <clears throat> Thank you guys for tuning in. So the first part, um, you have to be ready to be able to like co-parent, to coexist in your child's life. There's no way you can co-parent if your mindset is jacked up. So a lot of people be like, oh, it's not gonna work. He's not gonna come, he's not gonna show up. He's not gonna stick to the plan. Like they're already putting limiting beliefs on that person when they don't know if that's true or not. They don't know if this time that person will show up and be there and be a good, um, good parent because they already have these limiting beliefs in their head that it's not gonna work out. Of course, it's not going to work out if you keep pushing that onto somebody and telling them, oh, you're not going to um, stick through it. You're not going to be a good father or man. You're saying they're not going to be a good mom. She's going to always argue. She's not going to be able to communicate with me. You have to change that mindset. You can't bring, hey, coach, you can't bring hurt, pain, and feelings into your situation when you're trying to do something or work with somebody. That don't work. So what I hope uh, parents do is that self-reflection. Why do you feel that way? Why do you feel, what, where do those thoughts come from to make you feel like the other person is not gonna be a good parent? Or why do you feel like you're not enough or you're not a good parent? Um, so it's pretty much, I take them through that self-reflection because sometimes it's not the other person, it's them. And they have to have an open mindset to be able to take in what I'm giving them. I can't feed into you and keep giving you stuff and you're not ready to receive it. So that's why I take them through a mindset training first so they can be open to the process. Um, I help them with their self-esteem because a lot of times it's surrounded around low self-esteem. Um, they don't feel worthy. Um, they beat their self up because they didn't live up to the fantasy parent that they thought they should be or that they thought the other person should be and then they blame their self for choosing the wrong person to have a kid with. Um, I help them with their confidence. When it comes to mindset, it deals with confidence and limiting beliefs. Um, we get down to the bottom of where those beliefs come from because a lot of the stuff we believe comes from grandmas, aunties, conversations with the elders and stuff like that because 
you have to remember when they were younger, most of them don't even have a full education, past the elementary education like our grandparents. Um, they didn't get a lot of education like we are, so they didn't know. So you're learning and you're carrying on generational curse and limiting beliefs that were instilled in you from people that didn't even have an education. Um, so, hey, Suzanne. Change the mindset. Yes, definitely. Um, so we always figure out where those limiting beliefs come from and then figure out how we can change it. So I help them change their mindset to clarify what both parents envision um, in their co-parenting journey and their experience um, because they have to be on the same page. They don't have to agree upon everything, but you do need to be on the same page where we both want better. Um, it depends on what that better is. It can be better communication. It don't have to be everything's got to be perfect for us to co-parent or be a parent. No, because the child just needs you to show up. They don't care how you show up. Like, they just want you to show up. Um, so I help them get rid of that fantasy and live in reality. Um, help focus on the parent that they can actually be, morally be, and not who they, who they, um, their idol is or ideal parent, stuff like that, or who they wish to be and trying to live up to. Um, help them keep their mindset in reality. Um, and under those old beliefs, which I consider baggage, we see how it shows up in their life. So by them always being negative, Nancy, people don't want to deal with you. If you're always arguing with the person every time they ask to see their child and stuff like that, they don't want to deal with you, but that's your mindset because you're already ready for drama when they might not be coming to you with no drama. So you have to check how you think before you approach people or before people are able to actually deal with you because people don't want to be around that negative Nancy person. A lot of people just like, if you're negative and you're bringing negativity, a lot of men that I talk to will say, I'll rather just deal with my kid when they get older and they can make the decision to deal with me and not deal because I don't want to deal with their mom because she come with drama. I hear men say that all the time. It ain't beneficial for the kid, but they just don't want to deal with it. So that's why I help them figure out how to clear your mind of those negative things and how to show up. Um, where do those uh, beliefs like stem from? And it's usually generational curse. So I help them be the first to break those cycles and build their own morals and values and not seek validation from family and friends. Because a lot of times, even with me, with my family, they didn't um, support me letting my son and dad come in and out whenever he felt like it, when he was in the military. They're like, well, let him stay gone, stay gone. Like, he don't need, you don't need him. He got other father figures. But when I try to work stuff out, and co-parent, people are like, I don't even know why you're dealing with him. A lot of people didn't agree with it. My friends didn't agree. They're like, you crazy. He, the way he did y'all, he don't come around, all this stuff. He got four baby mamas with four different kids. And I don't care because I don't have nothing to do with my kid. So at the end of the day, kids need both parents. And you have to change the way you view things and be able to figure it out. We put that stuff behind us. Like, all that stuff don't matter. It don't matter what, if other people agree with it. If they don't agree, at the end of the day, our child needs both of us. So, <clears throat> with that being said, do you guys have any questions for me in regards to mindset training? Because when I post my um, co-parenting boot camp, mindset is one of the things we focus on. And a lot of people ask me, what do you mean by mindset? Because I ask the questionnaire, like, which one of these um, challenges that you guys have when it comes to co-parenting. And a lot of people did message me about what is the mindset? Because a lot of people, when you just say mindset, they don't think about like you thinking about why you think a certain way, basically who, who told you that information, stuff like that. So that's why I wanted to come on tonight and explain it. Um, we do only have, what's today, Tuesday? Three more days to lock in your deposits if you do want to do my co-parenting um, boot camp which is here in vegas on april 5th through the 7th <clears throat> don't listen to negative chatter yeah it's, and that's why i um y'all know my cutoff game is so strong <laughs> i just start cutting people off be like if you're gonna be negative i don't need you around me i don't need you around my child i don't need you in my life 
um, because I can do bad by myself. And that's just simple as that. Um, I don't like negative negativity. I feed off energy. So I'm really big with energy. And if your energy is not right, you cannot be around me. And I don't accept it. And I will block, delete, everything. You'll be gone in a quick second. But um, for my boot camp, it's $14.97 for a three-day, two-night, all-inclusive food, everything. We have a private chef cooking all your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have snacks. We will focus on the mindset. We will focus on um, communication. Uh, we will leave with a co-parenting contract because I do have co-parenting contracts. And we'll also deal with forgiveness because a lot of times people just fight because they're resentful, they're bitter. They haven't gotten over that person not living up to their fantasy um, of the parent that they dreamed of being with or having a family with. Um, they beat themselves up for their poor decisions on uh, making that person the other person, the other parent. But um, you do have to forgive. You cannot co-parent broken. Two broken people cannot raise a healthy, mentally, physically, emotionally healthy child. So you do have to go through the healing process, which I have different strategies that I take parents through hashing out um, in an effective way, healthy, effective way getting all the problems out there in the opening. Some women, what I notice with moms that I work with, most of them are mad because they mourn more so the loss of their friend than the other parent. It don't matter that that, ch that person is their child's father, they just miss that friend, their friendship. I was like that. When my son, dad, growing up, I known him since I was 15. We were best friends, childhood best friends. I didn't even like him. <laughs> but we have a baby together now. <laughs> but we were childhood best friends. I miss more of my friend. I was, I wrote that in my book. One of my chapters is I gained a child, but I lost my friend. Because that's how I felt. Having a kid with him, now we're not friends. And we had to go back to being friends and forgive each other in order for us to have a smooth co-parenting situation. So now that we decided to be friends again, it makes it a whole lot easier. So most people just mourn the loss of their friend. They just want their friend back. That person they used to always go to, lean on, stuff like that. They don't have to be best friends. Hey, coach. They don't have to be best friends to co-parent, but you do need to have some type of friendship. Your child do need to see you coexist in a healthy environment. Um, and it needs to be genuine because kids can read you in a quick minute. They know when you're faking it. And most kids, if it's like mine, he will say it like, oh, you fake. And no, you didn't say that or you didn't do that. Like he would call you out in a quick minute. And that's how a lot of kids are. They're very outspoken and they can read bad energy and they will check you. Kids will keep you in your place <laughs> and keep you genuine. They do not um, care because they don't, they're just like really blunt. Even if it hurts your feelings, just um, make sure it's genuine. So you do have to heal. You do have to know how to communicate with each other. That's a big thing. The biggest part of co-parenting is, I feel like it is uh, forgiven, forgiveness and communicating. So those are the biggest focus in the boot camp that we'll go through. Um, and I'll teach you skills and ways to identify what form of communication is better for you. You cannot discuss important matters through text message. Text messages are always perceived differently based on the person's mindset. That's why it's good to have mindset training. Because if you're already mad and have a negative mindset towards that person, no matter what they say to you, it's going to come across negative. Simple as that. They can't tell you nothing. It could be a good day. They're just trying to be send a friendly text message. And you will take it in a negative, uh, negative way because of your mindset. So I always try to tell parents, please communicate via phone or in person when it's something important um, as far as like pertaining to your child. Um, it is limited space. I only am accepting five sets of parents. So you can lock in your deposit of $2.97 that ends Friday. After Friday, each parent will have to pay $9.97. Um, and it still would be a limited of uh, total of 10 people, so five sets. You cannot go through co-parenting boot camp without the other parent, so both parents do need to be able to be present. And it's in April, so you have time to make plans on opening your schedule to be available 
for April 5th through the 7th. Um, you would get, of course, room and board all covered. We're renting a big mini mansion, have a pool, everything. We will have fun. It won't just be all seriousness. Um, we do have activities. I have special people that's coming, showing up. Um, the first two, everyone that um, registered and put their holding deposit by Friday get a special gift. Um, but it is limited space. And of course, both parents need to be present. We do need to have a phone call. So I do need to see if you're a good fit for the program because I don't work with just anybody. And I need to be able to feel your energy. Uh, I don't bring certain energy in my space. So I don't work with everybody. All money is not good money. So I do need to screen you to see if you're a good fit for the program. Um, as well as you will get eBooks in the program. You'll get the workbook. It is a lot of work. I do not play. I take my work serious. Thank you, Sylvia. Um, and we do have my icebreaker cards. Let me see. Sometimes people see co-parenting as when you're not with the person you have a child with. But co-parenting also exists when you're with the person. Yes. I'm glad you brought that up, um, Kai, because most of my clients are married couples. So... The definition of co-parenting is usually when you don't live in the same household, you um, are not together, and you're parenting from different households. But with this new society and the way it is, some people need help parenting in the same household because they have different parenting styles. That's what I work with in my co-parent like a boss program. I go over parenting styles and I'm thinking of doing a VIP day because a lot of people did ask about the parenting styles and how you can marry those two styles when you parent different. Like one parent can be really strict and the other parent lenient. Those don't work because you're confusing the child. So you have to have some type of uh, common balance to be able to marry your two styles to be able to um, coexist in the same household. Um, especially with blended families. I deal with a lot of blended families. So most of my clients are married. And there's a bonus parent. I don't call them step parents. Um, but those are welcome as well. Hey, Sylvia. Um, but if you know someone, you can always pass the uh, message on. They have three days to save $500. And um, they also get a special prize. It's only $297. This is tax season. I don't want to hear, oh, I ain't got the money because they're releasing taxes. <laughs> you can lock in the $297 and we do a payment plan. Um, you have until April. Um, to finish paying for it, April 1st. Um, but after Friday, I don't want y'all asking, can I get the $14.97 for two people total and only require $2.97 holding deposit? Uh, but we do need to hop on a call before then. So you definitely need to jump in my inbox, message me, send me um, an email, click on my website, which is moniqueatkinscoaching.com. You can click contact us on our website. And send me a message. As long as I have your information to be able to set up a call by Friday, you will be able to lock in that price of $14.97 for one set of parents. But um, do you guys have any other questions or any other topics you want me to discuss? I might talk about um, communication or forgiveness later this week or do another video or share one of my old videos about making a parenting plan um, because a lot of people don't they just go to court and the courts make decisions for them so that's why I eliminate my clients from having to go that route of going to court because we're all adults we know how to talk we know how to communicate we know how to forgive you can do the work yourself you don't have to have someone making a decision for you and then you get jurisdictions put on your child from a judge where you can't do what you want to do with your child because you have a court order restricting you from taking your child to another state. If you want to go on vacation, you got to get permission. I don't need permission to do anything with my own child. I can just let the other parent know this is what's going to happen and you good. <laughs> Simple as that. I see a lot of people that have struggles where they went to court and they decided we can't be adult enough to make the decision on our own. Then they get mad because they can't take the kid out of the country. They can't take them to another state because they put jurisdictions on how far or where you can take your child. You can get arrested. It's considered kidnapping if you have a court order. It's not considered kidnapping if you don't have a court order. 
So you can take your kid wherever you want, whenever you want, and it's not a problem. But if you have a court order, which a lot of people don't know, you can be brought up on kidnapping if you don't have that child back on the right day that was agreed upon. If things change and it's um, not in the court order, you have to go back to court, spend money just to make a change. If your schedule changed and you want to get a kid on a different day, you got to go through a headache of getting that done. So it's always better to try to figure it out with a professional or expert um, that can help you build a plan. With my co-parenting contract, you can go get it notarized and it's a legal binding contract, but it could be adjusted at any time. You don't need to take it to the judge or anything like that. You can go to a notary center and have a legal contract, but it's the way you play it smart and it's cheaper to get a co-parenting contract than it is to file for custody of your child. I've looked at the rates. <laughs> so um, you can message me. We hop on a call, get that rate locked in. Just remember only three more days. So March 1st, I don't want to hear anything March 2nd. Like, oh, I want the 1497. When I don't have your contact number, I don't have any messages in my message, in my inbox. You have to um, act on it fast. Otherwise, you'll be paying 500 more. So if you guys don't have any questions, make sure you share, like, a call came in. I'm so sorry. Um, but make sure you share and like the post. And um, I do have availability for calls next week. So as long as you're in my inbox and we schedule that call by Friday, hey, Reese, um, you're good. You'll be able to lock in that rate of 297 and then we'll figure out a payment plan after um, to schedule you on the payment plan but thank you guys for tuning in just remember three days <laughs> only five sets of parents hey uh, marcella <laughs> but thank you guys for tuning in i will be live more this week since it's only three days and make sure you share like all that good stuff if you have topics that you want me to talk about, please send me a message in my inbox. I have a ton of topics I can talk to you guys about. March is a really big month that I will be going live a lot often because that month is speak up, speak out is my theme for March. So all these, whatever stays in your house, happens in your house, stays in your house, we're going to talk about it. Next one is going to be raw and uncut. We're going to go there about a lot of stuff that goes on in the house that people want you to suppress and all that we gonna talk about it so if y'all got some topics y'all want to talk about for the speak up speak out month and i'm doing an anti-bullying workshop for kids um send me those topics because we're gonna get get raw and if you also want to join me on a live you can always send me a message as well i love to hear other people's opinion and i don't mind sharing <laughs> but thank you guys i hope you have a good night it's time for me to relax and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.